All right. It came in. I ordered it originally from Giga Parts because it was like $25 less. They never got it from MFJ, so I had to go ahead and order because I wanted to make sure I had this for field day. But I do want to try a, uh, a ladder line, feed line. This is the MFJ. 993B antenna tuner. So we're gonna just plug this guy in and see how it does compared to my other antenna tuner. Wow, that's kind of big. There it is. Coming in the box is just a catalog and a power cord. I'm going to take and get rid of all my other tuner crap I have up here and get this guy plugged in. And we have a pretty good idea how it worked with me running two tuners. It was it, it worked, but not real effective. I don't expect this to help. I do not expect this to really help for uh, 80 meters, uh, but I was able to get on 80 meters with two tuners. All right, so I don't know what we got here. Let's, uh, if all else fails, read the instructions first. Kilo Echo Zero. Kilo Echo Zero. Kilo Echo Zero. Oh, I have to hit the tune button. I forgot about that. I'm dumb. All right, so the band seemed to be the band seemed to be pretty dead at the moment. At first, I thought maybe something was screwed up with my antenna. I haven't been on the radio for a couple of weeks because I've been busy, but uh, the bands are definitely not doing anything at the moment. There's it's a lot of noise and conditions are bad. But um, what I ended up doing was this. I went in here just for a quick. I have a cable coming to where I can just hit the tune button on the. Uh, antenna tuner, but I went in and just set AM power to 5, 5 watts. Um, that was just really an easy way for me to do that on this radio. I just set AM power to 5 watts, and then, for example, I'm on AM 3.8. Go ahead and key it. And this is with an inverted V at 40 meters. Now I'm going to just change the radio, like, say, to 9.43. Okay. And I'll just key it. There we go. So... This antenna tuner is doing just fine tuning that. And we already know, so there we go, that one's actually okay. Um, we already know that I can get out tuning my, my 40 onto 80 meters, just I don't get a lot of power out. Uh, but let's go ahead and see something I couldn't do before. Let's go really crazy. Let's go to, again, I know this isn't going to be realistically effective. But let's go down to 160 meters. Was I just on 160 meters? Was I just on? Yeah, no. Okay, so let's go down 160 meters. Um, let's do this real quick. Go right here. Let's see what happens. I really don't think it's... If this can tune this, it'll be amazing. Of course, nothing's going to get out, but... Six point nine. That's the best as it can do it. So definitely not getting uh, one hundred sixty meters with an inverted V at forty, um, even with this tuner. The main reason I got this tuner is it allows me to hook up the ladder line. I'm going to switch my antenna to a ladder line. Um, I want to just learn more about that and see how it compares to using a feed line such as. Um, um, coax when you're trying to use a tuner see if that what the real difference is there so I can wrap my head around it and see if it makes sense so anyway I just got this in um, it definitely can tune the 40 down to 80 pretty easily um, but uh, not to 160 so probably if I had an 80 meter antenna I could probably tune it down to 160 um, but anyway that is the test so far. Uh, bands suck right now, so I can't tell you how well it is or not. Um, but uh, I thought it'd be fun. Uh, I also mainly, like I say, I got this for field day primarily. Uh, we're gonna be putting uh, some wire up on a tree and uh, I just wanted to have a decent tuner if we we're gonna try to do that. Let's see, I don't know what else I can add at this point. It looks pretty slick, it seems to work. Um, 
I do have the cable coming in. That, that autom automatic cable thing is definitely going to be nice where you can just hit the tune button on the front. Um, that's definitely going to be nicer to deal with. All right, so I got my first cord in, the MFJ 5124Y, I think it was. It said it was for, uh, a, I couldn't figure out which tuning cable to get, and this one was like $20, $20 for the, the adapter cable for this auto tuner. Um, it didn't work. Um, it said if, so I got the one that says it's for the 857. That did work. Um, that comes with the whole box. As you can see, it's this here, this box. We have a cable. If you can ex ex excuse my mess, this goes into the actual tuning port on the 891. And then it has an RJ45 cable that comes out and plugs into the back of the tuner. When you have that connected, it really is, you, you go to your frequency and you can click on the front panel on the radio. You go here to the tune button tuner, click it. Well, give it a second, you hear it click, and then it works a little differently, it doesn't kick out automatically, you click it again, kicks out. Now, that was like 50 bucks. Don't buy it. Um, honestly, a better way of doing it, uh, because it's, it's kind of hokey anyway, it doesn't work great. Um, honestly, a better way of doing it is this. Let me show you. Uh, just get a key, a Morse code key. Now, I got the key because I'm trying to learn Morse code, but just get a Morse code key. Uh, plug that into the back of the radio. So what you're gonna do then is you're gonna go into function and then hit it again and again until you get to CW settings. And you say CW break in. Okay, so that means when you hit your key, it's gonna transmit. Then hold down the function key for a few seconds so it goes into the settings menu. Now what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go to, uh, I think it's in menu eight. Let me go back to eight, eight section eight. Uh, Right. Auto mode. I have auto mode on. What that means is it's automatically going to switch to CW mode if you are in single sideband mode. So with auto mode on, then you can come down to your power settings. And for example, I have my HF power as 50 watts. So say you only wanted to do your tuning test at 10 and you know, uh, that 50 watts is going to affect your digital. The HF power will affect your digital um, if you go into digital modes or anything but single sideband mode. If you're using single sideband mode for your digital mode, then it, it won't have any impact. So uh, basically, you could set this to like 50 watts, which is fine, um, or, or 20, you know, depending on how, how out of tune you might think it's going to be. But you can do, uh, do 10 watts, all right, for example, 10 watts. So you can set this to 10 watts and just leave it there, okay? Now, now, what will happen is, notice I'm in upper sideband mode. If I hit my key though, it switches to CW. So it switches to CW and it pumps out. Let me go into my meter here, power. And it pumps out 10 watts. Now, we can go to our other band. Like say we go to uh, 10, I just hold this down and it just really quick, you notice for a second there it said high SWR and then it tuned, that's because the tuner's already got it in memory. Let me try to do something I don't have in memory. Let's go to, uh, let's go to 70, let's do here, let's do this. Now hold this down. Oh, turn brake on, I had turned it off. There. Well, you heard it click, so all these are, are already configured. Let's go something that the, this antenna, this is a 40 meter antenna, let's go to something that's not that resonant. Here we go. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm gonna try to find something here for you. Everything is tuning. 
Well, you get the idea. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, apparently I've already hit all these bands, so it tunes in pretty quickly. But uh, you would just hold it down until it's done tuning for that frequency. Um, and just use your key. Don't. It, it's a lot easier than even pulling up a menu on the radio or any of that. Um, and as far as I can see, it adds no benefit. It doesn't. It doesn't upgrade the frequency display on the, the tuner when you're turning the dial. So, um, yeah, I mean, just buy a key. Don't worry about buying the adapter. Just, just have a Morse code key here. It's going to be a lot easier for you, um, unless you have one of the white radios that uses just a little twenty-dollar cable. Um, but it's a lot easier for me just to hit that button, that key, sitting right there on the desk, and having to hunt around and find the tuning button on the radio, or hunt and find the tuning button on the, the tuner. Um, so I would just go with the key. Um, so my thoughts on this so far are it, it, uh, no one hears me cause there's too much noise and I didn't really think it would help me. Um, but I am able to use one tuner right now and I can get on 80 meters with my 40 meter antenna. Um, but people can barely hear me, but it's not like it's usable. Um, because the, the, the bands are so bad. Now, maybe if the bands were really good, it would be usable. But I mainly got it because I like the idea of being able to see the forward and the uh, reflected. Um, I just thought it'd be a nice piece of gear to have. I also bought it because it can hook ladder line to it, and that's what I want to experiment with. Also, field day is coming up, and I want to play with some stuff there. And I'm going to my brother's. And I want to hook up the 180-foot tower 